Breezy Man here with part two to the Blender tutor tutorial series. Um, with this, these tutorials, just on a quick note, I'm only focusing at the moment on some techniques and I and tips and tricks that are either overlooked or uh, whatnot through the building process. Uh, some of this stuff is based off of, most of it's based off of ROR and the fact that usually with the community that I work with we would make a body and then when you release the truck you know a person does ask if you can use it or whatnot but they might not even have intention to remodify the body all they want to do is change the paint on it and make a new truck so it's the same bodied vehicle just under a different uh, identity and so bringing stuff in the ROR is one step for some people because they haven't even it getting into blender is daunting for some people and I'm trying to help people in the community get into blender and actually feel comfortable with it know how to do small edits and small stuff before they start taking on a big task of building a full chassis or a full body now so on this particular tutorial I'm going to focus on two things I've noticed that get overlooked and one that is very helpful well all of them are very helpful two of which get overlooked one is right there no one just really knows how to use it and it's not that hard to use at all though so the first particular item we're going to focus on for this video is the knife tool now the knife tool is very beneficial in that you can pretty much cut up anything if you need to make something fit, if you need to make a straight cut across something, if you want to chop into the hood, whatever you need to do, it allows you to, to do so. So, let's just say that I want to, let's just say, hmm, let's just say that I want to go ahead and cut into the side of this body here real quick to make to kind of help with this edge here, give it more of a curve and give it more poly count there. Well, to do so, we're going to press the B key and we're going to select the set verts. And what you want to do is basically create your face. You want to have your faces that you want to cut uh, and however you want to cut them selected. You got to make sure that is done. Now, after doing so, the next step would be to open up your knife tool and that is the K key and you get this little menu here which has loop cut, exact, midpoint and multi cut and basically they do as they say loop cut I really haven't touched it too much I know what it does but I really don't use it uh, now knife the exact cut and multi or in midpoints I use quite a bit haven't really used multi cut much either but it does simply you make one cut to make several cuts. So basically if I want to cut this into two sections, I would be able to just you make one cut and it would split into two sections. It would give me two cuts for one. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use midpoint, which does exactly what it says. When You, you can cut wherever you want on your faces here, and it will always put the cut in the middle. So even if I went right over here against this edge, and chopped it, it still put the cut dead center of the selected faces. Now all I need to do at that point is is just select the part that needs to go up and go ahead and actually raise up the body piece. And that actually makes the curve a little smoother, not much, but it helps level out the curve a bit. And I can even just go ahead and raise this up a little bit more. Oh, I right click. Oh yeah, if you right click, you actually will will cancel the current action you're performing. See, so like like right there. I'm apparently having an adverse habit of doing that right now. And you can easily straighten out, level, or put more of a curve you want into the body, wherever that may be. Now, obviously that's one tool that is very useful. The other tool would be 
if you make, not necessarily make a mistake, but let's just say this chassis has some parts you want to yank off it. So let's just say you want the cradle off this truck, but you don't want the upper half. Now, uh, using the B key again, which is going to be one of your best friends in this, is you're going to select all the verts, or faces, depending on how you put it, that you want to save. That you want separate of this chassis. And also the L key will be very helpful here. If you press the L key, it selects anything attached to those verts. So if I come over here and hit the L key, it'll it'll automatically select anything attached to this point from the whole way down and attached to that entire structure. Same over here. If I select this one and I select this guy, it'll select all that is attached. Now if you notice, the shock tower comes with this. Now if I don't want the shock tower, all you got to do is bring up the B key again, but this time press your center mouse button and drag it across the set items that you don't want. And then I can do the same thing over here is select the oh not that select the down tube that I want and even select now in this case what I can do is I come up here and click the shock tower since I know the shock tower will select everything since it's kind of a mess right there. And then I can go ahead and take out the shock tower verts and then you simply press the P key which bring up the separate menu, selected, and you can separate the cradle. The cradle is now a completely different mesh apart from the upper half of the chassis. Now we'll undo that a couple times to go ahead and put it all back together. And that way, now the other technique that definitely, the other very, very helpful piece on this is the mirror modifier. Now if you haven't already noticed the body on this truck does in fact have one. And if I am to remove it, that's what you'll see. Depending on what side I chose to edit off of, which is in this case the right side, that is present. But the left side's not. So when you go in here and you add a mirror modifier, the left side is now there. Now any edits I do to this side, if I move it out, move it on the other side, any edit that I do will be reflected on the opposing side. So I can even move this, uh, actually I'm not even sure what that particular vert does. It doesn't seem to connect to a face. I'm going to check that. Oh it is. Interesting. Wait, no it's not. Okay, so we can actually get rid of that. The X key does deleting, by the way. Now, with the mirror modifier, you can also you get to choose where it mirrors the vehicle. So if you want to mirror on the Y, which now it's got two different opposing bodies facing each other here, two different halves opposing, right there. And the Z, which is upside down. But in this case, we're going to focus on the X. Now, keep in mind, if you rotate the body outside, this is edit mode. If you rotate outside of edit mode, you're going to have not necessarily problems, but you're going to have something you may forget or overlook. Let's just say we rotate this 90. And it's mirrored on the X still, which is good. But let's say that we're not mirrored yet. And this is rotated on the 90 and then the mirror modifier is added Ooh, trying to demonstrate one issue that can come up and I can't even get the work myself well there are some cases where if you rotate the the body or rotate something uh, in where these numbers are changed it actually will affect how the mirror modifier works and what ends up happening is that you may turn something and you will have the X, it mirrored on the X, but it's actually mirrored on the Y. Instead of down here on the X. And when you click the Y to mirror modify, it'll actually be modified. It, it just changes the orientation, more or less, of what button needs to be clicked to mirror. It's best to keep these at zero.
And the best way to do that would be to control A and scale scale and uh, rotation to object data. Now, it's pretty much the mirror modifier as simple as coming in here and selecting it and setting it up. Now, if you run it you run into the case where, if you notice, this body, and these are actually overlapping up here, but you'll notice that you have a gap in the body. And at this moment, I can drag this gap and overlap the pieces. If you click the Do Clipping button, you can actually drag it and it stops mid at the exact midpoint and when you connect it you won't have to do any deleting of or deleting of doubles I can come down here select this and drag them together and now they're attached and now the body is still mirrored but it's now more of a hole than it was before and that allows you to work with chassis, uh, bodies, pretty much anything that has to be symmetrical. And it, on chassis it really helps with side to side and front to back. You can combine the two. So let's say for instance on this chassis I am wanting to Ooh, wow, didn't see that happening. Let's say that I'm wanting to hopefully this works like I plan it to let's say that we'll go ahead and separate this piece let's say that I want this piece to also be back here well it's simple as clicking on the mirror modifier now you notice it mirrors on the X too so now it's on both sides it's now going to be one complete tube but I also want to be back here so I don't have to manually stick it back here I just click on the Y now this is where I was figuring it was going to do it sometimes they won't match in which you're going to have to actually move them in object mode first come into edit mode and shrink them in move them down in object mode back to edit mode and move them back out slightly till you're sure they match where you want them and now they're in place now sometimes when you make when you make a chassis from scratch off of the center point usually it doesn't end up being that difficult to get the uh, the chassis to be where you want it now usually because you're gonna usually build off of dead center so had I actually did this off of dead center where everything was centered had this been which this, this actually in a separate blend file is dead centered and built that way uh, now, had it been done that way in this one, then that would they wouldn't have been off. They would have been close to or exact. I'll go ahead and uh, go back here so I don't have to worry about changing how that was made. Now, pretty much that would be it for this particular tutorial on just a few basics from the mirror, the mirror tool, the uh, knife tool, and the uh, separation and I think in the next tutorial we'll focus a little bit on uh, bringing some more parts into the the equation possibly uh, we'll see about that momentarily uh, I'll probably have to do a little finishing up of this chassis because I'm gonna try making this tutorial actually a build as well to where this will end up in game um, I might actually go do a UV map to show you guys how to do that at least how I do it for a vehicle like this there are a couple different ways to do it I have one particular way I like to use oh I apologize for that but anyway without further ado this is crazy man y'all take care and I'll see you in the next video where I'll cover some more features that may help you out with billing trucks for ROR. Take care. Separate body pieces. So whenever in this case it actually doesn't work. And sometimes that too happens where you get an issue.
Yep, there it is. 